to see yet another injury? Yeah, you never want to see someone get hurt. So we're just devastated. And, you know, we have to bounce back from that. You know, we wish them the best. Uh, I pray for him with a um, speedy recovery and all that. I want him to get uh, healthy soon, but we have to bounce back and win this game for all the injured guys and everyone on the team. Does your mindset change at all now that you're obviously in a bigger ball? Do you have to change your mindset at all? Um, I, I had the same mindset all season. Just prepare my best for the game. Practice, practice hard, practice. Practice like I'm going to be out there every play. I just give my best effort. That's what I can do. Coach Neal talked about how Ifo sort of got you guys, told you guys, you know, take care of yourselves. I can handle I'm fine. Things will be fine. How, how important is that to hear from a guy who just went down? Um, it's good to hear he's in good spirits. It's good to hear he's in good spirits. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to go out there and win the game for him. I know he, he wished he could be out there, but we're going to win the game for him. You know, for our best, give our best effort for him. How is the world around you your, your mindset is the same, your preparation is the same, but the situation is different. How does that change or affect you? Um, I just have to step into a bigger role, a starting role. I have to hold my own and just show people that, you know, you just can't pick them because I'm not there, you know, a new corner. Does that make you excited? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited for the game to show people what I can do and just, you know, give my best effort. Have you been in this situation in the past? Is there ever been a situation where someone got injured? Oops. Yeah, uh, I started the Wyoming game and then, um, when Ipo went down in the first quarter, uh, Utah, I was in mostly the whole game, so I've been in this situation. How does that help, or how does that affect you to get ready for this one? Uh, it just gives me more experience. What kind of impact does all the extra time you have give you, given that you have a lot more time before the game than I'm just studying the uh, Florida State offense and just knowing their tendencies and all that. You had a bad fourth quarter against UCLA, so you learned a lot from that. How have you grown from that experience? Uh, just, just knowing what people would do in the red zone, knowing uh, back shoulder throws, and <clears throat> and just the tendencies what quarterbacks would do in the red zone, and what teams were trying to do with their defense. So valuable lessons for you that oh, paid yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. What do you see out of player like James? Uh, <clears throat> he's a playmaker. He can, he can extend the play, and um, he's always looking for the open receiver, and uh, he makes good decisions, and he's just overall good at the quarterback. Assuming Florida State takes a couple shots at you early, you know, you have to assume they're going to look at picking on you a little bit. Yeah. See what you can do. do you take that personally? Do you take it as motivation? Well, I, I take it as motivation. Yeah. Just, I just want to show them what I can do. That's really it. You know, they, they don't know me. They're going to pick on me because I'm a new corner, so I just have to show them what I can do. Epo's obviously a senior, he's going to be gone. This essentially sort of starts the Chris Cesar era, right? Uh, I guess you could say that <laughs> next year. It's gonna be we're gonna be a young group, so it's gonna be a new a new era with DBs. Chris, what have you learned from the that you'll take with you going forward? What I, can you say that? What have you learned from the this year that you'll kind of take with you going forward? Everything, just preparation, hard work, um, everything you could bring to the table. He taught a whole group. I learned a lot from him. In that secondary, there are some other young guys like Tyree. And, you know, you, you guys like the fact that you guys are coming into this around the same time, and it, like you said, there's, there's going to be a couple more years of you guys, you know, patrolling mm -hmm. out there. Well, it's good to get our we, we get our feet wet in the big game, so um, it's going to give us a lot of experience for the future, and just um, having composure in the future is going to help us out a lot. That's it. Chris. Thanks. Thanks.